I got the air box out of the way. You can clearly see now the dipstick and the little retaining bolt that holds it down. Right there, there's a bolt. Driver's side tire. I got the skid plate off already. And here's the pan and the drain. We're gonna pull. And then I'll take out uh, these eight, I think they're eight mil bolts. Drop the pan, throw a new filter in, and gasket. Let's go ahead and drain this out. It's an eight mil Allen. drain all out, then I'll drop the pan. Now right, I got a couple more bolts to loosen by hand and this pan I'll drop down, which I already drained out the drain plug right there. All right, let this uh, finish dripping off, and then um, I'll get this uh, filter out, clean down the surface where the gasket's gonna set, and then uh, install the new parts. All right, now that the pan's off, uh, I'm gonna remove the filter, and that's held in with uh, two 8 mil bolts, one here, and one on this end, and then this filter should uh, drop out. Uh, so I have to do this one-handed. Probably not. The old filter. Old filter. Make sure these O-rings come off with it. There's two. And let me get some paper towels and soak up all this and then clean off that magnet. Be right back. Actually, not too bad. So I'll clean that off. I'm gonna take some brake parts cleaner and hose down this pan.
magnet back in. It's right here. Just like that. I gotta scrape this whole gasket off. Be fun. Gasket scraped off. Clean up the edges with uh, gray Scotch Brite. Let's get nice and smooth. Hose it down with a uh, brake parts cleaner. Install the magnet, and now I'll put the gasket on. Some new filter. Comes with two new O-rings. Matches the old one. Yep. Right. This blue one and uh, this one here. Just take a little tranny fluid and just get a little lube. That'll make it easier to pop right back in. Two bolts, eight mil bolts. So just snug. So now I'm going to kind of clean off the mating surface where the uh, panel go. Still a little old RTV from the previous installer from the factory, I don't know. But I can clean all that off and I can put the pan back up and uh, that'll be it. I'll fill it up with training fluid, go through the gears and it should be all set. the pan up, uh, hand tighten the bolts and I'm just going to snug them up a little bit. Once the silicone sets, give them a, a torque. So the pan's up, um, I've tightened all the bolts down, torqued them to, uh, I think the spec is 61 to 78 inch pounds, and now I'm going to fill it. This is the uh, fluid I'm using, type FZ. Stick out and I fill this up. and the retaining bolt.
my crannies filled up about uh, three and a half, four quarts. And let check the dipstick. You can do it from underneath also. It's right there. 10 millimeter bolts right next to it. Right there. And you check it while it's running in park. You check your level, make sure it's good. Make sure nothing's leaking. You're done. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, be sure to check out the Instagram page. I do put up some short video clips and pictures on there that you won't see on YouTube. So be sure to check that out and subscribe for more.